All right, so whenever I get out there past the breakers, uh, I need bait. The first way to get bait uh, that I'm gonna be using is going to be a sabiki setup. Now what this actually is, uh, it is a series of six different hooks. You take your main line, you tie it to one end, you put a sinker on the other end, you throw it out there, you jig it up and down over a school of bait fish, and voila, you have some bait. And the type of rod I'm going to be using for sabikis is going to be this one right here. It's actually just an older Fenwick rod. Um, I, I use paracord right here on the grip because the grip is starting to deteriorate. It's an older rod, not really sure on the specs of it. I, I, I would assume it's pretty, uh, it's pretty light action. And this is a pin pier, this is number nine. It's an older reel as well. It's spooled with 20 pound braid and then I have a top shot of 20 pound mono. Now with that bait, you need a place to store it. Well, you can go back to the first video and I will show you how uh, to make your own bait tube. And this is my bait tube right here. It works really well. Uh, something I do like about it is whenever you actually pull it behind the kayak, it doesn't drop all the way down uh, and it doesn't float on top. It stays, it stays submerged to about eight, you know, six to eight inches uh, right below the surface of the water. So it's a good spot uh, you know, for you to monitor it, figure out where it's at, if you're finding a fish. So once you have your bait in your bait tube, then you can go trolling. Now for me on this tournament, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have everything pre-rigged. I'm going to have several different rigs. That way, you know, if, I, if I'm fighting a fish and my wire gets kinked or I get broke off or something or I get sharked by something, uh, I can very quickly just tie another rig, throw it back out there, and I'll be ready to go. So now for trolling for kingfish, uh, what I'm going to be using is a kingfish rig. Now there's a lot of different types of kingfish rigs that you can find on, you know, online. Uh, you can make your own, you can buy your own. For me, I'd rather make my own because it's cheaper that way and I have more control over the quality of what I'm going to be buying. Now for this, what I have is just a 50 pound swivel and then I go to a 44 pound single strand coffee colored uh, stainless steel wire. Now I want a 44 pound because it gives it some nice stealth, but it's also strong enough to be able to handle the larger kingfish uh, and some of the wahoo as well. So then from the skirt, you go to your live bait hook. This right here, it's kind of hidden in here. But this right here is actually a 5 aught. it's made by VMC as well, it's a 5 aught live bait hook. It is an extra strong, so it's a heavy duty wire. You want something you know, strong enough to be able to handle those larger fish, but then also you want something small enough, just like the wire, uh, to give it a little bit of stealth. Now from that, you go to your stinger hook, which right here, so you have a short, a short section of wire with a couple haywire twists, and then you go to this VMC uh, treble hook here. This is a 4X strong treble hook. Now how this, how this rig actually works is you take your live bait hook, which is one right here, you take that, you hook it into the nose of the fish, and then you take this treble hook and you hook it into the back of the fish. As you're trolling it, um, and a kingfish hits the tail, you'll have a better chance of getting him hooked, because this, of course, will be hooked in the tail. And here's actually the rod setup that I'm going to be using for trolling. Uh, it's actually a Penn Jigmaster 500. It's an older style reel, but it's going to last a long time. It's really, really strong uh, and parts are readily available for this. Plus, you can pick this up on eBay for $20 to $30, so uh, not really a whole lot of cost involved in that. Uh, I do want to give my buddies at Vintage Pin Reels, uh, the group on Facebook. I want to give you guys a shout out. Thank you guys so much uh, for helping me out. Uh, what actually happened was I ordered a reel from a guy on eBay and um, it came damaged from USPS. They actually sent me uh, you know, a, a, new, a new side plate, a few new pieces with it. Uh, that way I could get my reel back into shape, get it to where it's operational again. So thank you guys so much for that. I actually have 50 pound Power Pro on there. I have a top shot, a 25 foot top shot of 50 pound mono as well. So for this rod, it's actually an ugly stick tiger rod. It's a super, super strong rod. It's seven feet, medium action. So it's gonna be a perfect, well-balanced setup for trolling. Uh, for this, on my downriggers, uh, like I said, I'm just going to kind of stagger them a little bit. Uh, that way it'll help prevent tangles whenever I, whenever I do hook into a fish and I'm reeling it up. Uh, hopefully I'll have a better chance of not tangling into my other setup. Um, you know, but if I do, if I start having trouble with it, then of course I can just reduce uh, the different types of rods that I'm using. But that's going to be my trolling setup. If I'm not getting any kingfish, I want to go fish on some wrecks uh, to try to get some, you know, some snapper or some grouper or stuff like that. I'm going to be using a totally different setup. And now for that setup, I'm going to be using this right here. It is a, a Pinfish 3 5000 series. Uh, and that's just the size of it. I actually have 45 pound Power Pro on this as well. I have an ugly stick 
Elite Jigging Rod. So this rod is specifically made for jigging, and it's actually measured in grams, not ounces. Um, and then of course, this is gonna be one of my vertical jigs right here. It's nice, it's a, it's a nice just little rainbowy color. Uh, I'm gonna be running some 100 pound mono on here as well. Uh, some people might think that's pretty big, but whenever you're down there on the wrecks and you know, there's a bunch of uh, barnacles and, and different things down there, I wanna make sure that I have as much abrasion resistance as possible. And you drop it down, and this vertical jig goes all the way to the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, then you take it and you just jerk it up and you reel as you jerk it as well. So you're jerk and reel, jerk and reel. And what it actually looks like is it looks like this bait fish is just darting through the water uh, trying to get away. So that's gonna be my vertical jigging setup. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and get some bucktails or something as well, maybe put on here. Um, you know, if I'm not getting anything and I just want to try some bucktails, maybe on some wrecks or try some different other types of lures. But I think the vertical jigs is gonna work really well. So those are gonna be my main types uh, of ways I'm gonna be catching fish. Of course, with the trolling setup, that's more for kingfish, wahoo, uh, maybe a tuna, uh, you know, just stuff like that. For the vertical jigging side, that's gonna be more for your snappers, your groupers, your amberjacks, uh, just basically fish that like to hang around wrecks. Now also, uh, just some extra tackle that I'm gonna be bringing. I'm gonna bring a few different other reels as well. That way, whenever I'm out there on the water, if I have an issue with one, then all I gotta do is take another one and uh, slap it onto my rod and rig it up and I'm ready to go. So for that tournament, you can't come back to shore. Once you come back to shore, that's it. You can't go back out. So I wanna make sure that I have all the materials and all the, all the different tools and everything that I need uh, to be able to have my best chance at, at winning that tournament. Also on your kingfish rigs, you wanna make sure that you have different lengths of kingfish rigs and you wanna make sure that you have a nice way of storing them as well. This wire, because it is single strand, it does kink really easy. Um, and once it kinks, it's basically done for. You have to throw it away, get you a new one, make you a new one. So this right here is a great way for me to keep all my kingfish rigs in order. This was some packing that was in a turbo box. Uh, so whenever I ordered a turbo, this came in there just to keep it from getting banged around. And it works really well, it floats, so if I drop it, you know, it'll be floating. And it just it's a great way to separate my different kingfish rigs without getting everything all tangled up because I can take the treble hook and just hook it here in the top, take a rubber band, put around it just to keep these stable. And that way I have everything right there where I need it. I can look and see what size kingfish rig I have. I can put my bait up to it. That way I can pick the best rig for the fish. So it's pretty easy on what I'm gonna be using. Um, if you guys have any, any suggestions or anything for things that I should try, uh, or if you guys have any ideas of different videos that I should make with this, uh, please just leave in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, you know, of course, I'm just going to be doing different videos on the things that, uh, that lead me up to the kayak trip. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. I've been looking forward to it. So I'm gonna be down there in Navarre, so if you guys see me on the water, say hi. I'd like to see the people that, that see these videos. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys make it all worth it. If you guys like this video, just give it a, give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you would. Don't forget to go back to Intro to Diesel Yak. Uh, make sure that you write subscribe in the comment section after you do subscribe. That way you can get a chance to win that free cooler as soon as we get to 100 subscribers. Last time I checked, we're actually at 51 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. We're getting there, we're halfway there. Uh, so just keep it up. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors. Uh, just put it on Instagram, shout it out from your rooftop, do whatever you got to do for us to get to 100 subscribers because I guarantee you after we get that, there's another milestone and you guys are going to love what you get then. So thank you guys. Remember, this is Diesel Yak. Keep it spooling.